Okay, now we know this was a setup. For show, for show, this was a setup. And for those of y'all that's been trying to figure it out but just couldn't put your finger on it, I'm going to help you out. But before I do, I'm going to send a big, giant, humongous, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. My condolences to his friends, his family, and everybody that loved him. This guy was, I mean, this guy was so talented, man. He was about to change the game. If you haven't heard that Meet the Woo and Meet the Woo 2, go back, go check it out, man. Me personally, I like Meet the Woo 2 better, but I love it all. But he, the reason why I like Meet the Woo 2 better is if you have... If you have slap in your car, it's, that bass is going to just smack, man, you know. So check it out for sure. He was getting ready to change the game. And he was and he was definitely setting it up for Bobby Smurder. So when he came home, it was going to be lit. But I already know when Bobby Smurder come home, it's still going to be lit. I just wish that Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke, excuse me, Pop Smoke would still be here. You know, because I know if he was, it would be that much more litty. But anyway, Pop Smoke died. He was murdered on February 19th around 4, between 4 and 5 a.m. We all know this, right? But prior to that, that same day, he was seen in his car with his alleged brother, you know, flashing a bunch of cash, sitting in front of the house allegedly in a white Range Rover. Uh, it is alleged that he threw a party <clears throat> that day. And when everybody cleared out, you know, uh, I assume Pop Smoke and everybody else wound, wound down. You can tell by when they pulled him out. When you see the paramedics, the first responders pulling him out of his home, um, performing CPR on him, uh, you can see he's in some shorts. He got his socks off, his shoes off. Uh, shirt off and everything and that's that's indicative of somebody who uh, um you know just just had a great time and just winding down man going in the refrigerator grabbing some orange juice man you know uh laying down on the bed or on the couch man and just watching a little tv and just getting ready for the next day type of thing you know this is 4 a.m so you know it's pretty much done so uh it's alleged that four guys, between four and six guys, approached his house around that 4 a.m. mark, in between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. So, all about four guys go to the back of his house, right? When the four guys go to the back of his house, one of them stay back there, and the, and the three of them just come back to the front. It's almost as if they said, okay, it's unlocked. Y'all meet me in the front. Just, just in case somebody try to run out. I'm going to slide back here and I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to come out the front. These guys wait by the front. Now, how could you get in a house without breaking glass? This house wasn't that big, even though it was in the Hollywood Hills. Trust me, y'all, for y'all that live in, you know, Timbuktu somewhere uh, in shacks or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But in California, some of these houses are really, really huge and cost a lot of money. And depending on where you stay, they can be really, really small and cost a lot of money. And this house in particular, it wasn't that, that big. It was big, but it wasn't that big. You know, it wasn't like it was 17 rooms. If you come through the sliding glass, you, you if it's unlocked, you can just go on in there. But it's alleged that they did not set the alarm. So when you, when you, slide the glass or, or open the door the alarm's not gonna go off if you know because it's not on it's not set and if you break the glass somebody's gonna hear it so obviously they slid in there the guy in the back slid in there because somebody left it open he goes in there and he only shoots pop smoke then he comes out the front y'all tell me was that a setup mm. somebody let Somebody in, somebody came in, did they want to, got up out of there, did steal nothing. That is a setup. Complete setup. I'm out of here.